Lucky Boys Podcast. And, and it'll be groups of you out. And if you're having a conversation with each other, that's it. No one's, you don't, no one's going to, you know, they didn't have cell phones like yeah. that. So no one, um, you know, they're not going to pick up a newspaper and just start reading it while you're, you know, th- there's no distraction. Everybody's waiting their turn. They're getting in. And I felt like that type of friendship and in, in, in a group was, I'm just so glad that I was able to experience that because that was, that was the illest shit. It was just so much fun. Yeah. All of us participated. All of us able to give so much energy into the conversation, into whatever we were doing. We just, it was just a, such a large contribution of ourselves into just having fun. But I'll, I'll play devil's advocate to that, right? Like, I mean, social media is just the same thing, but like millions of people can contribute to that conversation, right? As opposed to just- But it's not it. in person. It's not, and it's not, well, it, I mean, then you start asking what's the value of that, right? Being in person. Right. If I can talk to 10 people in person or 10,000 people, right, all over the world, right? I mean, I'm talking about hanging out with your friends. But I mean, what well, theoretically, right? Like mm-hmm. here, these are all my friends. My followers are all my friends, right? Well, you have, fa- mm, when you I don't have, know. When that's, you have, I mean, that's I mean, using it, the words friends really I mean, loosely. But, but, but it's all relative at the same time, right? Because, and, 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 and like they don't I, know their names. Yeah, true. But what what is a name? We, we came from a point where people didn't even have last names. We started developing last names because it was too many people named John. So now mm-hmm. it's like John, son of so and so. Now like your surname, right? Right. So like, well, my point is not not, not just referencing the name, but just like you, like to no, me, no. a friend is something like I know what you like, I know your dislikes, yeah. I know if you're cool, if you're not. Facebook's your friend now, right? Oh yeah, Facebook and Google. I mean, you can, you, like all, you can all see all that stuff, all the stats. <laughs> I, I know see exactly. all the stats. I know exactly to, what you but on a personal level, I mean, I friends. I. I see where you're going with that. I'm fucking and, with you though. But but here, but here's the thing, like, uh, I, I and you're playing devil's advocate, yeah, so. Yeah. Um, but uh, I'll push back. Okay. Right. And and uh, there's nothing like getting to know someone in person than online. And just an example, let's say, let's say, I mean, we're talking about dating earlier. Let's say you're dating a girl. Yeah. Um, there's one thing with dating someone just pure online. There's no physical where we're just dating, we're saying, I love you, uh, 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 you're hot, whatever you're doing online, you're talking to each other, but there's no physical. There's nothing in person. You're just kind of getting to know each other. And I, all I'm seeing is your pictures, your photos, uh, your videos, your, your wh- whatever you're, you know, you're putting up on your stories. And then on the other hand, if I'm with someone in the physical, I get to touch you, I get to smell you, I get to, I get to tell people what she's like when, when, when she's just having the, when she's having coffee, yeah. when she, the way she moves, um, like like the crinkle in her nose when she does certain, like you know, you get to see all these little details that you, I feel like you won't really get to appreciate because she will control the narrative of what she wants to put on display yeah. fully. There's, there's such a strong filter. So, well, I think technology helps bridge that gap too. You know, you're talking about like oh, being there. Some people actually watch movies like over the phone together mm-hmm. on, and go on dates on the like video chatting that's it's almost like there is like i agree uh that you know there are moments that you miss physically but there's also the technology aspect where it's actually bridging i think it's bridging that gap oh yeah. yeah i'm not i'm not saying like fuck technology i love yeah. that I, there's no way i want to go back actually i want to see progress further yeah. i'm really excited about technology and how convenient it makes uh things and and i think overall the pros outweigh the cons i mean that's why where we are where we are but what i'm saying is i think we have to be careful with how we use it and and be careful not to get lazy let's i mean i'm just saying like you mentioned sitting down with someone watching a movie and that's fine and all but my what i'm saying is that it's nothing like having someone right next to you and now this in this case you're saying like is a significant other I get to hold her. I get to hear her laugh, like in person, like her voice right next to well, me. Well, the physical, yeah, the touch. everything. I get to touch her, and then you know, if you Netflix and chill, one thing goes to another. Right. I mean, you get, to, you know, you get to like, right. you know, Netflix move, and chill. You get to Netflix <laughs> and chill. Whereas over the phone, it's just like ha ha he he, and then it's just weird. Like I'm, I'm right here. I'm just like, hey babe, <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, cool. Yeah, that was a great, that was really funny. Oh, I can't believe they killed that person. Like, oh, what's up? I mean, come on, man. It's but, weird. It's but, weird. But but then again, continuing on the devil's advocate, right? Like, 
it's relative. You're you're noting out things that are important to you, mm-hmm. right? Society has changed for what the million years that human beings have been on this planet, right? Like what we're describing as far as technology now and like all the overload sensory overload of information. What makes that any different from when the printing press was invented? Right? Like you you had a point where like you can only get something that was on paper if a human being actually wrote it. Now it's like I can just start sliding out all this information, right. information, information, propaganda, right. blah, 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 blah. Right. And they actually had less methods of fact checking than we do now. Like literally, whoever controlled the message controlled the the narrative. Period. The story. To what we have today. Well, regardless, I think people are gonna believe what they want to believe. Yeah. So but, whether it's fact checked or not, I mean people are thanks. are they're gonna just like if you think about it, like YouTube's algorithm yeah. or 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 um Facebook it's Facebook whatever Facebook, right Facebook. yeah if yeah. if you're a Republican if you lean this way if you lean this way they're just gonna um, keep reinforcing what you already believe in sure. and they're just gonna give you stuff that you're interested in well yeah that's, right? that's just the algo right because it's showing right. that you have interest again it's literally right. what I do for work right it's saying right. like you I've seen that I've built a profile around you you like these certain things I'm gonna put you in front of things that it seems like you're interested in right right but. But it's all it's doing it though to me is it's, it's reaffirming. It's self-fulfilling and it's also reaffirming everything. It's just making your belief stronger. Yeah.